Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our previous session, we have discussed about flash fill, auto fill, and text to columns. In our today's session, we will be discussing about data validation in Excel. So data validation, how does data validation work? What are the uses and advantages of data validation? Let's understand that first. Now, suppose you're working in a company and you want to create a sheet for yourself or even if you want to create it for some of your colleagues. If you want the data to be entered over there, but you want to put some restrictions so that there is a less chances of making an error. For example, if you're creating this data for just January month or December month uh, in our case, okay or if you want the value should be under certain range or if you want the length of the text should be between certain words or certain characters if you want that there should be only restricted payment modes over here for example upi cash or card in that condition we can use data validation so there are less chances of making an error and whenever the person makes any error it will show an error message over here wherever the person writes any wrong data it shows an error message how does it works? Let's understand that. Now, suppose let's first talk about the category, which is a text column. Let's click on this. As soon as I click on this, so you, all you need to do to select this column is you need to hover over it and you will find an arrow. As soon as the arrow appears, click on it. As soon as you click on it on the top or uh, in the data tab itself, you will be finding data validation. Click on data validation. Here we have a text length. Now you can decide the text length. Suppose if it is a category, I don't want category to be a whole paragraph or a sentence as well. It should be just one or two word thing. So I want its minimum length to be two so that no one use in abbreviations and the maximum length should not exceed 25. Now let's click on OK. Okay. Now suppose if I try to write something in this column. So if I write to say uh, went for shopping for a party of a friend okay i hope now uh, the length of the text is more than 25 now as soon as i press enter it would generate an error for me that this value doesn't match the data validation restriction defined for this cell that means we have defined certain restrictions for this cell and the value that we are writing does not match it so let's just remove it let's try click on retry and I'll just write shopping. And as soon as I press enter, it would allow me to write it. Similarly, let's come to date part. Now, because these are the expenses of December itself, I'll just hover over here. And as soon as the arrow appears, I'll click on it. We'll go to data validation again. Now here, we need to click on date. Date, now you can define the date over here that because these expenses are from December only. So we can write that the start date should be 01. 12 2023 and the end date should be 31 12 2023 okay and let's click on okay now let's try to write any value which is from november so if i write 05 okay and 11 and 2023 as soon as i press enter again the same error appears for us let's try to write a value which is from December itself but of 2024 so 04 or 05 12 and 2025 if I press enter again the same error appears which says that it does not match the restrictions that we have defined for this cells okay so this is how data validation for a date could work for amount you can pass the amount as well so suppose if you want to define that it should be a whole number or a decimal number it could be a decimal number as well it could be between or it should be greater than or equal to okay so i just want this expensive sheet to be of the, those amounts which are more than five rupees okay so, so anything any anything that i have bought which is under the range of five rupees i won't be counting that as an expense okay so minimum value is five okay and now if i let's say i bought a toffee of two rupees and if i press enter it won't uh, allow me to write it okay similarly if i write anything else let's say if i have written 200 or if i have written 500 it would allow me to write it okay lastly we have payment mode section over here now for the payment mode if you know that only three to four values are there which could come in this category for example upi cash 
card or a credit card as well okay so you can use data validation restriction for this and you can create a list for it for example if i click on it go to data validation here in any value i will be choosing a list over here this list could contain upi comma cash comma card or let's say i'm also using a credit card so cc okay now if you click on this drop down you can see some values are given over here and even for a new cell as well so suppose if i click on new cell it gives it tells me that uh, here are the four options that you can fill over here let's say this is from a card okay and if i try to write anything else except for this for let's say i took a money from a friend so i'll just write uh, borrowed money okay let's press enter and it won't allow us to write it so instead of this we'll just go for card i hope after the session it is clear how data validation works data validation is very useful when you're creating a sheet even for yourself or for your colleagues and you don't want them to do any error in your sheet then you can use data validation to restrict each column so i hope this video is clear to you in our next session we will be discussing about conditional formatting in excel so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session